This video will provide a brief overview of how RevealX Network Detection and Response enables security analysts to investigate and respond to attacker tactics, techniques, and procedures from the MITRE ATT&CK framework. If you're not familiar with the MITRE ATT&CK framework, this is a framework that documents and catalogs attacker TTPs that have been observed in the real world and rigorously documents these TTPs to make it easier for security professionals to detect and respond to them in the future. MITRE ATT&CK has 12 categories of techniques, many subcategories, currently 266 tactics, techniques, and procedures are represented in their enterprise framework. This is a great tool for security teams to use to take a broad view of the types of attack behaviors they need to be able to detect and investigate in their environment. So within RevealX, we start out on the security overview page which offers various views into the detections that are currently on our environment. We've got detections by security category, by device role, by detection type. And if we go up here to the detections page in the product, we can get a little more detailed view of these detections. We start out with this list of detections that are sorted by risk score. And if we sort that by techniques, then what you'll get is a MITRE visual matrix showing a subset of the MITRE attack TTPs, and those highlighted in teal are ones that have been detected in your environment. You can see the categories here and which categories you've got detections in, and the number of detections that fall into a particular TTP is labeled in each square. Now to investigate one of these, let's say exfiltration over C2 channel, that seems pretty serious. You can click in, You'll get a link off to the MITRE documentation if you want a refresher about what this TTP is, and then the two detections that are related to this TTP. From there, I can click through. I've got more details about this data exfiltration detection, victim, offender, and even a button to investigate this detection further, which I'll go ahead and do. So here we've got some of that same info as well as a related detections timeline showing what happened before and what happened after. So you can start to put together a complete view of what sequence of events led up to this detection and what happened next. So if there's an attack campaign in progress, you've got a beginning to end view of what actually happened. Further down here, we've got some IP addresses that might warrant investigation. This one is highlighted in red and has a little security camera next to it because it's a threat intel match, meaning that this IP address is listed in some threat intelligence feed that we've integrated with. If we click on it, we can get a little more information about it to see why it might have been listed. And ultimately, in the case of a data exfiltration detection, we probably want to block access to this external IP that received a bunch of data from our internal environment until we find out what's going on. Then we can choose the best way to respond and remediate the threat based on all the information that we've got here about the overall sequence of events. This entire demonstration was done in the RevealX online demo, which you can access and try out for yourself by visiting www.extrahop.com/demo. Thanks for watching.